Alright, what is up everybody? We are back with some more universe mode. And today it's SmackDown and the first match is the big guy right back going up against the real American Jack Swagger. And Jack Swagger with a victory on main event up against the Bulgarian Brute Rusev and which kind of catapulted him into a match up against the Intercontinental Champion but Ryback does have a match at Extreme Rules up against Neville so he's gotta he's gotta watch out he cannot lose here tonight or uh, Neville might be watching might see what his weaknesses are and take advantage at uh, Extreme Rules which Jack Swagger is no slouch he has been a World Heavyweight Champion United States Champion and ECW Champion so he has been champion before he does know what the heck he's talking about he, he can talk, he can back it up in the ring and Ryback on the other hand had a great showing against Neville and I mean and Neville Neville impressed Ryback so Ryback gave him a Intercontinental Championship match at Extreme Rules, but if Ryback, you know, loses here, he loses at Extreme Rules, he might have just screwed himself by giving Neville a championship match. So, that is all his fault. Now, here he is. He got the reversal on Jack Swagger. He's waiting for Jack Swagger to get back up to his feet. Jack Swagger is going to take him with the Irish whip into the ropes, come off with a big boot. Ryback landing hard on the mat. In which Extreme Rules is only two weeks away. So Neville's got to be playing, paying close attention to Ryback. In every, in every match he's in. And here's Ryback though. Taking Jack Swagger down. Going in with the scissors. Going in now hammering the elbow into the head of Jack Swagger. Not going for the stumps. Ryback just vicious. He is the big guy. Now here he is going with the punches to Jack Swagger. And going to go up with look like a vertical suplex. No, he brings him right back down. And that looked like he had to hurt. Now here he is picking up Jack Swagger. Instead going with the axe handle to the back of Swagger. Swagger moves out of the way. Dodges the kick but gets caught with the lefts and rights. And then reverses that one. Pulls it back into the middle of the ring. Gut wrench suplex. Now you're into a submission, but let's it go right away. I think he knows he's not going to be able to get right back at, with that one. Now here we go. A little pull swagger in the middle of the ring. And into a full Nelson slam. Into a cover. Swagger smart to go for a cover there. Try to get some energy away from Ryback because he has to try to kick out. Now here we go. He's got the, got the head crank going. That's one of the moves that everybody in this whole game uses. Now here we go. He's going to go for a snap suplex. Into a pin. Already a lot of pins in this match. Each, each opponent trying to get as much as of an advantage as they can, obviously. It's smart to make people waste their energy on trying to kick out. But look at here, Ryback just relentless with these stomps. It's Jack Swagger, and looks like Swagger with a reversal. Ryback back up to his feet. Here we go, look like Ryback is going with the elbows to the shoulder of Swagger. Lifts him back up. And it looked like Swagger was going for a punch there. Ryback saw it. Picks him up by the throat. Has him in the air. Taking him back down for the Dominator. Look like Ryback setting up for the meat hook clothesline. He insisted it might just be all over. Folded him up like an accordion. And it's probably over here. There's the count. They're at two. And Jack Swagger gets out. Ryback looking like he... Uh, Thought he had that one won. 
the but Jack Swagger's got him. Go to take him back down with the leg. Go in and try to hurt the leg. Maybe to soften up the leg for the ankle lock, but who really knows? There he is, Jack Swagger with the pin. One, two, almost three. Swagger almost had the match won there. Now here he is again, driving the elbow into the shoulder of Ryback. Maybe making it to where he can't pick him up for the shell shock or possibly another meat hook clothesline. Now here's Ryback. Going to get lifted up into there. No, wait. Instead with a fisherman's neckbreaker. What a match. I'm telling you, this match is probably one of the best you'll ever see. And there's Jack Swagger taking out the leg of Ryback. Now pulling him into the middle of the ring, going for a cover, and one, two, and no, another kick out at two, right back, Jack Swagger, going toe-to-toe -to -toe on SmackDown, and yep, again, going after the shoulder of right back, smart move from Swagger, picks him up, no, wait, right back, saw that one coming, and it's going to go in for the headlock. Now here is Swagger trying to get back up to his feet. Going in with the elbows to the gut. Now here we go. Gut reach power bomb. And it's all over. Jack Swagger has just won. Here's the count. One. Two, there's two. And up. Barely. Barely got the shoulder up. Jack Swagger can't believe it. Just gave it it all get I mean just gun wrench power bomb and Ryback no sold the shit out of that one and kicked out. Now here is Ryback going to put Jack Swagger up against the rope. Jack Swagger reverses it. Ryback hanging on and looks like Ryback. I don't know. He's kinda waiting, staring down. Ryback trying to grab Jack Swagger. Look, he's gonna go vertical suplex off the apron just Slung him right out of the ring. Jack Swagger's dead. There's no way he's getting back up. What a move from freaking Ryback. Holy hell. And again, continuing the tack on the outside. And a big, I mean, just, I don't know what you call that move. Like a belly flop, belly spot, I don't really know. Just a splash without the turn buckle. I guess, and throwing Swagger into the stairs. Looks like we could see a beginning of a rivalry here with these two guys. What a match. This match, I mean, really had no implications that Jack Swagger was getting an Intercontinental title shot. And he comes out here and has a performance like this up against the champion. I mean, if Ryback does win at Extreme Rules, you might be seeing Jack Swagger going up against Ryback for that Intercontinental Championship. Only if he could pick up a win here. If he can't, I don't know. What's going to happen with the Intercontinental Championship after Extreme Rules? But look at Jack Swagger going with a side slam off the top rope. That had to, that hurt both of them. Jack Swagger, you can see him getting up, holding on to his back. But right back, no sold it. Jack Swagger caught him with a belly-to-belly -belly suplex. Now here's a pin look like from Jack Swagger. It could be all over. There's two. And again, a kick out from right back at two. Both of them barely able to get back up to their feet. And there's Jack Swagger and Irish whip him into the turnbuckle. With the elbows to the back of Ryback. And he is going to push him into the ropes, take him back off. German suplex from Swagger. And here's Jack Swagger on the attack again. Knee to the back of the head. Vicious move from Jack Swagger. Now here's Swagger going to turn right back around, bringing it into the middle of the ring. And another suplex from Jack Swagger. Swagger taking right back to Suplex City. Now here's the pin from Swagger. Two count. And right back kicks out again. I think Jack Swagger gave everything he could in this matchup. But still, right back. Is pretty much unstoppable. Oh, there's another meat look, meat hook clothesline, and that one just about took Jack Swagger's head clean off. There's two count, and no way Jack Swagger kicks out. I think Ryback has probably just been shocked by Jack Swagger. The amount of 
I don't know what I was about to say there. Brain fart. But I'm not editing that. We're going to continue to go because this match is long as hell. Now, here we go. Looks like Swagger going up for the Swagger Bomb. And it's probably all over. Here is the cover. Here is the count. One, two, three. No, wait. Jack Swagger again cannot believe that Ryback is kicking out. Every move that Jack Swagger has done, Ryback kicks out of everything. Now look here, Ryback going to put Jack Swagger on the top rope. And I don't think the ring could hold these two again, falling off of it like this. And look like we're going to see a side slam from Ryback this time. And that one hurt Ryback just as much as it hurt Jack Swagger. Now, right back going for a pin. Here's the count. One, two, and again a kick out from Jack Swagger. I mean, match of the year. This is just phenomenal. Look at Jack Swagger. Got him in the headlock. Going to pull him into the middle of the ring. Are we going to see another gut wrench suplex? Thought he was going for the gut wrench powerbomb. It was a suplex. There's the leg drop from Swagger. And now the stomps to the shoulder. Jack Swagger has attacked the shoulder. As much as any body part in this matchup. And look at here. Going for another gut wrench power bomb. And it is all over. It's got to be. This match has gone on for a total of about 12 minutes now. Here's the count. Two, three, no wait, right back kicks out. And I do not think Jack Swagger has so seen that coming because the ref, I thought it was a three count, but Jack, but right back, Jack Swagger, who knows what's going to happen here. Right back going in for another headlock. This match is crazy. There's been how many kickouts now? Maybe about six. I mean, Jack Swagger is pretty much dominating this whole matchup. Ryback has had some moves, but I mean, nothing other than the meat, look, meat hook close on. I'm pretty sure if Ryback gets the shell shock, it is all over. And it looks like Swagger's going in for the Swagger Bomb again. He lands this, it's got to be over. I don't think each much competitor can take each any more amount of pain. And here's the cover. Here's two. Here's three. Jack Swagger with the upset of the year on Ryback. I don't think anybody saw this coming. Jack Swagger with the victory. And look at Neville coming out to to just throw some more fire in Ryback. Saying he's going to be... Now as we go on to your main event of the evening, it is going to be Baron Corbin getting a chance to at the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Champion, Randy Orton. And look at here what we're going to see here. Looks like Christian, your World Heavyweight Champion, is coming out to scout this match. He does have a match against Randy Orton for the World Heavyweight Championship in a ladder match at Extreme Rules. So I think he's going to take any advantage he can. I mean, these two have faced off plenty of times before. Back in, like, 2012, the biggest rivalry of the year for SmackDown. And it ended up, Christian had the couple, World Heavyweight Championship a couple of times, went back and forth between the two. And we're going to, I mean, we're kind of seeing the rebirth of the rivalry. Back. Now here is Randy Orton gonna go for the clothesline into the stomps. Now here we go. Back in Baron Corbin into the ring ropes. Turnbuckle, what is going on here? I'm watching this whole commentary. Rest getting in between them. Randy Orton with a punch to the face of Baron Corbin. Baron Corbin. This is his first match here on Universe Mode. And he's up against Randy Orton. I think that's a Pretty big task for your first match in the WWE. Now here's Randy Orton going for an Olympic slam. Picking Baron Corbin back up to his feet. Going in with the lefts and rights. Going to take him up for a European uppercut. Picking it back up. Randy Orton just relentless with the attack to Baron Corbin. Now here we go, what are we going to see here? Maybe a catapult suplex? No, wait, just going to leave him on the freaking ring ropes. Randy Orton just not giving a fuck. What happens to the rookie? Not going to average rip him into the turnbuckle. Coming off with a big clothesline. 
Now here's Randy Orton. We're going to Irish whip him into the turnbuckle. And again, he is getting distracted by Christian. I'm pretty sure Randy Orton should stick. Try to stay with the matchup. Not go out here and have Christian cause more trouble. And there's Baron Corbin going out to the attack on Randy Orton. Great. I mean, Christian just trying to get any opportunity he can to get into the head of Randy Orton. Randy Orton with a reversal, though. I mean, Baron Corbin has been dominated. I think that was Baron Corbin's one chance to try to get into this matchup. And Randy Orton just does not give a crap. Now here he is lifting Baron Corbin back up to his feet. And Baron Corbin almost had a big uppercut there. And he goes in with the elbow to the side of the head of Randy Orton into an uppercut. No, Randy Orton reverses it. Randy Orton... Stopping everything. It looks like we're going to go here for a little bit of vintage Randy Orton. There's the middle of the rope. DDT. Now here he is going to bring Randy. I mean bring Baron Corbin back up to his feet. And Corbin's going to get him in. To the headlock. Put him up against the ropes. And he's going to Irish whip him. Over the top rope. Randy Orton hanging on. And what are we going to see here? Baron Corman going out to the ring. And holy shit. DDT to the apron. And Randy Orton just got laid out from Baron Corbin. Holy crap. Baron Corbin with his one shot again in this matchup. And uh, I think he just used it. But Randy Orton again reversing it. Baron Corbin I think he should... Maybe if he wants to face Randy Orton again, probably come up with a plan instead of getting his ass whooped. But Randy Orton is on fire. He did beat Christian a couple weeks ago to kind of get the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship. And did he did win on Raw against Edge. So he's kind of on a winning streak. He wins here tonight and I don't think he can be stopped. And Baron Corbin is busted wide open. Baron Corbin's got Randy Orton now. Going to Irish whip him over the top rope. Randy Orton could not hang on that time. Baron's going to pick him back up. And Randy Orton reverses it. Throwing him into the commentator's table. And going to... Yeah, bouncing the head of Baron Corman off the table. Comes back into the ring. Randy Orton celebrating too much and gets caught with a... Couple of rights and lefts. Baron Corbin bringing him back into the middle of the ring. Grabs him by his head. Throws him across the ring. What strength by Baron Corbin. But there's another reversal from Randy Orton. And Randy Orton's going to drag Corbin back into the middle of the ring. And there's a stomp to the arm. Stomp to the knee. Stomp to the ankle. Randy Orton going all the way around the world with this one. And going to end up with a stomp to the face. It looks like he's going to set up for an RKO. And I'm pretty sure it'll be over after this RKO. Here he is setting up RKO. And pretty much over after this one. There's the replay. Baron Corbin. He had a shot to come out here and amaze the world. with Beating Randy Orton. Shocking the world. But that just did not happen. He got dominated. We, caught, we saw a couple moves from Baron Corbin. That was shocked. Just basically with the DDT to the apron. And I mean. You think with Christian's help. He could have been able to win this but I don't think that, that that worked to their plan at all but with that being said guys this is the end of the video like subscribe and comment and I am